I just watched an Amish movie where a young lady got shunned. And while she was allowed to live in the community, not even her parents were allowed to talk to her. She also had to eat at a separate table. And you can see how powerful this can be because it would cause the shunned person to feel left out and give her a strong motivation to repent of whatever it was that, that she did so that she can gain the approval of her community. Of course, their principle comes from scripture and we are taught to do a similar thing to a Christian living in sin that will not change their ways. For example, we see this taught in the following scripture, Matthew 18, verse 15. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. But if he will not hear, take with you one or two more, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. Jesus is specifically describing when one person sins against another and how it's to be handled. As you see, it ends with the unrepented person being cut off from the church because that person is considered to be a willful sinner who will not change his way.